What is up guys, it's Simon from pianopig.com and in this week's video I'm going to show you a simple little trick which you can use to quadruple the efficiency of your licks. It's going to help you squeeze every last drop of juice out of the licks you already know and give you a bunch of new stuff to play with by just following this simple concept. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see and also come and check out the Piano Pig Academy, my online membership which is going to help you accelerate your growth and basically just get you practicing as efficiently as possible. But for now, let's head over to the piano and check out this handy little trick. So just as an example to use throughout this video, this is the lick we're going to be working with. And this concept works best with shorter phrases, three or four notes ideally. We're also going to be playing along to a backing track which has two chords, D minor and G minor. So you want to figure out how to play your lick over each of the chords. So over D minor, it would fit nicely here. And over G minor, it would fit nicely here. So to start with, let's get the backing track on and play around with this lick over each of the chords. So we've got our D minor and our G minor. So that's the first step. Choose a lick, a three or four note phrase, then choose a simple chord progression and practice playing the phrase over each of the chords. Feel free to download the backing track that I'm using if you want to practice over that. The link is in the description below. But now it's time to get on to this handy little trick. So up to this point, we've been playing this lick as 16th notes, starting on the downbeat. One, two. Three, four, one, E, and a two. And it's very likely that any licks you often play, you always start them at the same place, rhythmically speaking. So what we're going to do is actually shift everything along by a sixteenth note. So rather than playing the first note on the downbeat, we're going to play it on the E. So that would sound like this. One, E, and a two. One, E, and a two. And this actually completely changes the sound of it. The accents naturally shift onto different notes and the entire feel of that phrase is now completely different. Let me get the backing track on and I'll show you the difference. Here we go. So here's the phrase starting on the downbeat. This is what we were doing before. And here it is starting on the E. Completely different feel, right? And we can actually repeat this process again. We can shift the entire phrase so that it now starts on the AND. Let's see how that sounds. Again, a completely different feel. We can obviously do it once more to start the phrase on the er. Uh. Here we go. So we can 
can start this phrase at four different points within each beat. And each one gives us a completely different feel, even though it's technically the same lick. And this is a great thing to play around with. Practice just playing it on its own, starting from each different place, and then you can mix it up and combine it with other things, but really making that lick the main focus of your improvisation. This is an incredible way to practice and to get the most out of the licks that you already know. So to finish off, I'm just gonna get the backing track on and basically show you how I would practice it. So here it is on the downbeat. I would normally start with this. Do this a few times. Now let's shift it across. And now let's shift it across again. So this is now starting on the and. And let's shift it again. just mix it up. And add some other things in. So have fun with that. It's a very powerful exercise if you spend time with it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.